To create art in Venice, sometimes all you need is a rake, some rope, and a little bit of moon magic. There is one time during the month where the moon is in line with the sun, and we call that new moon, and one time where it's opposite, which we consider full moon. The local sand artist Gio Bender, following the moon cycles, is an integral part of his work, as fitting into nature's schedule helps him optimise the condition under which he creates. The high tide washes everything blank, the low tide recedes, and then I have normally an untouched, beautiful sand canvas that you can rake, and every rake stroke really stands out like a brush stroke. So is it science or magic? <laughs> what is magic? <laughs> it's fun. I think that's important. For humans to see a perfect circle that always invokes something mystical. I think that is why crop circles sometimes look magical. Normally I think about a pattern I like and then I break it down how I can create it with sticks and string on a larger scale. Sticks and string work like a ruler and a compass. So it definitely took a little bit of the how is it ever possible aspect away from let's say crop circle or those kind of patterns. Because once you break them down you realize actually it's simple principles. In the beginning, I wanted everything to be perfect. I wanted to wear, you know, this kind of special protective shoes, not to make any footprints in it. And I wanted to have this kind of ideal approach when I started in San Francisco. I realized when you tell people to respect something, they're just like, oh, you don't tell me anything. This kind of now I show you that nobody tells me anything and they just walk through it intentionally. In Santa Monica, some of the tweakers that in the middle of the night get attracted by the flashing lights of the Ferris wheel on psychedelics, they look down and get caught for over an hour of just like, I cannot leave. I had experience like that. Other than that, I'm, I think I'm good friends now with the lifeguards. Normally when they see it, they respect it, and otherwise if they have to drive through like last weekend where somebody jumped off the pier, obviously they have to drive through, I don't have any attachments. Other people are more attached. I've seen people scream from the pier down for others not to walk through because they feel attached to it. <laughs> people see something nice, they don't want to destroy it. But on the other hand, everybody has that little kid, you see a sandcastle that you didn't build, you want to somehow tear that down, which is, it's, it's funny to watch because ultimately four hours later it's gone anyway. 